How's it going guys? Matt back here with another Daily Shave. Let's get rolling. Today's star of the show, fine brand Marvel 3-piece safety razor. More on that in a minute. Soap, Wickham's 1912 Club Cola Vegan Soap. Excellent, excellent stuff. Matching aftershave. The blade we'll be using is a Voshkod. First time, brand new blade today. And we'll be ending it off with the boar hair brush for our beard. So, like I mentioned, today's star of the show is the Marvel. It's a three-piece safety razor, right here. It's hefty, weighs in at about just shy of three and a half ounces, so it's pretty hefty. Handle, a little bit thicker than you're probably used to with a lot of modern razors. It's a little shorter than normal, at least for me, but it feels great, has a great balance, it feels great in the hand, no complaints at all. You'll see, I'll talk about more of this when I shave. The head design is pretty unique, it has a rounded safety bar and a pretty aggressively angled head here, so you can almost use that as a guide against your face. No more guessing for the 30 degree angle or the sweet spot. Pretty much tells you how it feels right when you get there, so you know exactly. So, that being said, let's lather up. And today I did not take a shower beforehand. All I did was I trimmed my beard here with an electric razor at about three millimeters. And then I went around the mouth with a two and a half millimeter setting on the razor, just to fade it in a little bit. All right, so for this soap, right off the tub, what I'm getting is a lemon lime effervescent smell, almost like a citrus soda or pop, if you will. It doesn't quite match what the description says on the container. I believe it's got bergamot, a couple other earthy scents, and caramel. But for whatever reason, my nose gets soda. And that's fine. My nose doesn't have to smell what they say it does, but I love what I smell. So call it what you want. I like what I get off of this. And one thing I remember from using this in the past, it gets a lot stronger once it's lathered as far as the scent goes on your face. Some soaps will kind of weaken or dissipate as you're lathering on your face, but this one actually gets stronger. Let's get a little more water. All right. Now, this is probably my favorite vegan soap. I like tallow soaps just because I like lather. I'm a huge fan of creamy lather. But this soap, for being vegan, you would never know. If you didn't tell me, I would have no idea that this was a vegan soap. So, plenty for about six passes there, more than we need. So let me just wet my face. I'll be back in two seconds. Sorry, three seconds. All right, time to face lather. Like I mentioned, one of the things I like about this soap is it's actually getting stronger on my face. I have a few soaps, not from this brand, that I love the smell of, but they just get too weak on the face and it kind of loses the, you know, the attraction to that soap in the first place. One of the nice things about this uh, 10098 Boar Hair Brush from Omega is it's got a huge splay. So if you have a giant face like me, you'll like this. If you have a small face, you might like it too, but at least for my face, it works out perfect. A little dry, so I'm going to add a little bit of water. Okay. A lot of people ask me, well, they tease me, why do I shave if I have a beard? Well, I have to keep up the edges and my neckline, so that's the answer to that. But they say, why do you lather over your beard that you have and not just in your skin? Well, to answer that, the skin that, or the hair that's on my face rather helps agitate the lather and it makes it fluffier quicker so why not all right that's plenty good what i'll do now is i will start with the sideburns and cheekbones then i'll work on the neckline and for my neckline i don't like to go right along my jawline i like to go about two fingers above my adam's apple so it brings it down from my jaw that way i don't have the appearance of a double chin because i don't want that so Rinse the razor. Now this feels, it has the feel of stainless steel razor. It's a zinc alloy, um, electroplated in chrome. Um, that's all French to me. It looks nice, it feels nice. I don't care what it's made out of. So it retains heat nicely. So I like to run it under warm water to get it warm. So let's get going. Like I said, I've used this a couple times. But even the first time, it was a no brainer for the sweet spot because of the angle of the head is made to perfectly fit just like that against your face and that's the sweet spot all 
Another thing is with lather all over my face, I can easily see my beard lines where the lather stops, so that's nice. Another thing about this is the safety bar is rounded. It's not thin and um, real fine like other razors, so it has a very smooth rolling feeling to it. So there's no dragging, there's no weird feeling when you're moving around, it just feels very smooth. So let's get the mustache. Now, I've heard some people say this is a pretty aggressive razor. I don't find that at all. Let me rephrase it. It shaves like an aggressive razor in the sense that everything's gone in pretty much one pass, um, but you don't feel the blade. You can hear it, you see it working, but you don't feel it. So it's aggressive in the sense that it's very efficient and it mows the whiskers down, but you don't feel it. You don't feel like, ah, this is sharp or this is hurting me, nothing like that. So. For the neckline, we're gonna go with the grain first, and then against the grain after. Here we go. And I like to keep my neck skin kind of taut just to help uh, straighten out the whiskers. Okay. Get the second part here. And at the time of this video, this razor is only about $40. I say it's easily the best razor under $7,500 right now. It, it's, it's that good. Don't be put off by the price or anything. It's, it's amazing. So, let's reapply leather. I just got my bristles wet. Even though the soap's not dry, I just like to rehydrate the bristles so that the lather's a little bit warmer. And we're going to go for a second pass, and then we're done. So no dragging at all with this blade and with this razor. It's just super, it's ridiculously efficient. So let's go against the grain now on the neck. Touch up the cheeks and then we're about done. All right. Now to check my lines, I don't like to, I mean, most people put their face in the sink and rinse off the ladder. I make a huge mess when I do that. I mean, I make a mess no matter what I do, but to keep that mess down, I just take a dry towel and I wipe the lather off. So let's try that. Much quicker too. All right. Let's check our lines. Perfect. All right, now matching after shave, after balm rather. You'll see it's, take the cap off. It's kind of like, not coming out. Here we go. It's almost like a, it's a balm, but it's in a bottle, so it's kind of a nice way to deliver the balm. Let's see. Wow. The balm scent is matched perfectly, but the balm strength of the scent is about two times as strong as the soap. And that's a good thing because the soap smells amazing. Wow. And it's already absorbed in. That was quick. So, no burning, nothing, perfect shave. Um, wow. <laughs> 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 on the soap. 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10 rather on the razor. The blade, the brush, everything's great. But I tell you this, you guys have to try this razor. You will buy it, borrow it from a friend, whatever you have to do. It's amazing. It's probably my favorite modern razor in the past 5 or 6 years. Then at 40 bucks, you can't go wrong. So before I go... One more quick thing. Boar hair brush is nice for guys like me who have anything over a couple millimeters of growth on their face. It will tend to go its own little way, has its own little mind, so this will tame it and get it all going the same way. 
So, so I thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, post it in the area below. Let us know and we'll get back with you. And uh, one last thing, that is peace out, lather on.